The Gladysvale Cave, located in the John Nash Nature Reserve in South Africa, has been a significant site for paleoanthropological research since its rediscovery in the early 20th century. This site has yielded numerous fossils, providing valuable insights into early hominid evolution and the environmental conditions of the Pleopleistocene era. The cave system formed in Dolomite of the Eccles Formation has been the focus of various excavation efforts, revealing a complex geological and paleontological history. The first significant fossil collection at Gladys Vale was undertaken by Robert Broom in 1936, who collected various animal fossils, including a small cercopithecoid and the paratype of Procavia transvalensis. Subsequent visits by other researchers, including Charles Camp and Frank E. Peabody from the University of California, Berkeley in 1948, involved extensive blasting and fossil collection, although their findings remained largely unpublished. Interest in Gladysvale was renewed in 1988 when A. Kaiser of the South African Geological Survey led a team to map the subterranean chambers and collect fossils from surface breccia dumps. This phase of research, which continued intermittently until 1991, resulted in the recovery of numerous new species, including early hominid specimens attributable to Australopithecus africanus. In 1993, a more systematic and thorough excavation was initiated by Lee Berger and the Paleoanthropology Research Unit, PARU, of the University of the Witwatersrand. This phase aimed to clarify the geology and geomorphology of the site and to determine the chronological interrelationships of the in situ deposits. The excavation methods employed were similar to those used by CK Brain at Swartkrans, involving detailed mapping, grid based excavation, and systematic cataloguing of fossils. The Gladysvale cave system contains three primary fossil bearing areas breccias in the walls of subterranean chambers old mine dumps and calcified and decalcified breccias exposed by weathering and roof collapse. The geological history of the cave is more extensive and complex than previously thought with multiple depositional events recorded at the site. The most recent excavations have identified two geologically and faunally distinct phases indicating alternating dry and wet conditions during deposition. Among the significant discoveries are a 60% complete skeleton of a new large canid, a fossilized seed of a wild date palm, and the first provenance hominid fossils from Gladysvale. These findings suggest that the site was occupied by early members of the genus Homo during the early Middle Pleistocene. The excavation has yielded over 9,500 fossils from a section of the pink breccia, a highly fossiliferous layer characterized by its stony pink appearance. The fossils recovered include a diverse array of large mammals, such as equids, bovids, and carnivo. My name is Ricardo Valls. I am a professional geologist registered in the province of Ontario, Canada, and also the president of Valls Geo Consultant. Geology, geochemistry, structural analysis, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. I am sure you will find something useful among my over 400 videos. I think these videos are brilliant and I'm sure you will like them too. Please like, comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell.